Brendan, new project. A new project that the men shed took on. Um, tractor to Ghana. Um, we found out that there was a tractor out in Clare Island that Billy Gallagher, a resident of the island and a member of the men's shed, has kindly offered to donate for uh, this charitable uh, concept. Um, the two men here, Joe Gibbons, Martin Bahi, drew them went off out to the island, had a look at it came back with the good news that it was repairable and it could be done up. And so here we are at nine o'clock at night after the boys gone out at seven o'clock this morning, spent the day out there, bought all the parts that were required, got the machine up and running and brought it to the to the quay. So Grady's, fair play to them, brought it in free on, on, on the boat. And uh, Mr. O'Malley brought her in here and transported her back into Westport. Well done. So, just talk about the goodwill of community. I mean, where would you get it? So, is there the long way to go in, as part of this trip yet? It's here in Westport. There's a lot of work to be done on it now at this stage. Yeah. But um, the men that know how to do it are the men that are here. And they mm -hmm. said they have, they have no problem in getting this up and running. Yeah. But to get it to Ghana is the next problem. Well, do you have the parts right now? No. Some parts we have, but there are other parts that we need. Yeah. Um, Joe, what are the type of parts that you'd recommend in there? Uh, that's on the, uh, the superficial, what you call it. The metal work. It's all yeah. superficial, yeah. yeah. Body work kind of thing, is it? Hmm? Body work. Yeah, body yeah. work. That's the yeah. work. Yeah. Like wings and, and yeah. and, that stuff. and the engine OK? Oh, oh, engine's perfect. Engine's yeah. perfect. That's the big thing. New tip. tires, of course. The tires are oh. perfect in everyone. So you drove it up from across Clear Island today, more or less? We drove yeah. it a couple of miles to the pier, yeah, yeah. it went perfect. And it worked, yeah. worked perfect, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So are you looking for anything like spare parts or...? Yes. Oh, we will be, lots yes, of parts. Yes, we want yes. anybody that can donate us, either uh, mowing machines, bows... Uh, um, to trailer, attach to this like, is it? Uh, harrow, anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a small that trailer that we can use. That's an interesting project, yeah? It's an interesting project, but I mean... But the caliber of the men that are currently in the Westland Men's Shed, I have no doubt that this project will be seen through mm. and that they will get this up and running. Now, what we would love though, is there was people in the community that would like to, you know, help sponsor maybe the financial aspects of it because it will cost money to get the, the bits and pieces. And the next part of the project then will be to get it to Ghana. Now, it is going to a very, um, to a community that have got huge needs for us, but it's divided between two communities, between three villages out there. So have I, you've identified a place, yeah? Oh, we have an idea, yes. The yeah. area has been identified. And how did you do that? How did you get a place? Did you uh, contact her? Nolene Halet. Oh, yeah, okay. She's the lady that's been organising all of this. Nolene Halet is a, probably a saint and her missus in here in, in, in the community in the west of Ireland. Has been doing this for years. So she has, when I mentioned about the tractor, she said this would make life so much simpler for so many people out there. Yeah. But to get it out there, the container costs on average around 7,000. Mm. And that's a lot of money to be gathered. But hopefully, with the will and you know, with will of the community that we live in here and from people around the area, that we get this money together, get this tractor up and running, get all the parts, and we'll help this community, the, the community that is uh, here. Man.